Hello guys, welcome to Photographers Academy. So in this story, I'm just going to roll you through on how to put a studio pot right in this image, okay? So I'm just going to be using this image by Kinet Photography. You can check him out. He's an amazing photographer. So I'm just going to use it as an exercise to teach you manually on how you can do that using your Photoshop. So the first thing I'm going to do is, as you can see, this image has not been retouched, so we're going to retouch it fast with our retouch for me action, okay, to make the retouching very fast and, and neat so that we can forge ahead and create our studio spotlight, okay? So I'll just come to my action. If you have it, you just come to your Windows action, okay? So look at that. I'll just click on it and go on. All right, so once you are done, you can see the before and after. Let me click on it so that you can see what it has already done for us. Okay, look at the before, look at the after. As you can see, the house everywhere, it is not excluded. Nowhere is excluded. It has successfully retouched everything for us. Look at that. The before, the after, the before, the after. As you can see, it has successfully taken care of our blemishes. Look at that. Before and the after, the before and the after. So let me duplicate the dodge. Look at that so that it will be very strong. The depth, the dimensions. Let me increase it so that we can see. Look at that, look at before, look at after. Okay, look at before, look at after. Amazing changes, look at before, look at after. Okay, it has successfully retouched our image for us. So let me flatten this image so that I can apply another one. Wipes and so clean it up more so that I just want to clean it up more where we can get an amazing result. All right, as you can see, it has further cleaned up our image for us. Look at the before, look at the after, okay? It has successfully cleaned up our image for us. Furthermore, let me flatten it so that we can just apply. So let me call to this sharpening and sharpen it. Okay, so that the image will be more sharper. Okay, yeah, it has sharpened our image for us, as you can see. Look at before, look at after, look at before, look at after. It has sharpened, added a sharpening to our image. Okay, so let me flatten and create our studio spotlight. Okay, let me flatten and create our studio spotlight. By the way, let me show you the before, the overall before and after the retouches so that you can see. I will go to my history, my window, my history. Sorry, main history. Not Instagram. Okay, history. Let me snap here and show you the before and after. So look at before, look at the after. Amazing work. Okay, it has already done an amazing work. Also, look at before. Look at after it has already retouched this image for us without much work. Okay, now let me show you how to create your studio spotlight. So here I'll just duplicate this image to have a copy, then come to my toolbar. So if you are looking for any tool here and you are not seeing it, just come down to here and hold it. Okay, I'm looking for elliptical marquee tool. I'll just hold it, then hold my shift to create a perfect circle. Okay, then if you want to move it around, just hold your space to hold your space so that you can be able to move it around. Okay, so after I've just created the that, I will just put my at my rear max to it. Come to my wedding option, my cups, take it down. All right, so then copy my rear max, hold my out to copy my rear max to, to here. Okay. Then impart the selection. Come to my curves, click on my rear mouse, click on impart, control I to impart. Okay. I've already impart. Then come to my feathers. Use the feather so that it will not be sharp. Okay, to get something ready. It's so okay. Now look at that. The before, the after. Okay, I've successfully created this studio spot right on it. So as you can see, look at the before, the after. You can further decrease the right if you think there is too much. You can further decrease it to this. Okay. Now look at the before. 
look at the after. So I'll still come to my history panel to show you the overall before and after. Look at the overall before. When we come into Photoshop, then look at the overall after. Let me snap it so that you can see it properly. Look at the overall before, look at the after. The overall before, look at the after. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Please do make sure you are a subscriber to our channel if you are not yet a subscriber and turn on your notification button to always get notified each time we drop a new video. If you are interested in this action, chat us up. Thank you.